Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so look at this. Ooh, I've got stuff. So I built up uh, kind of a what I consider to be like a set of these. Um, I added blocks in the corners where I, they aren't strictly necessary where all the adults, all the bees are adults. The problem is the baby bees like flying up into corners. If like this block weren't here, they would fly up in this corner and try to fly out. And when they grow up, their, their hitbox grows up intersects with the glass and then they pop up above it so bloop and then they're out and away I have a loose bee flying around here somewhere he's probably down there I should probably go check and bring it a bring it a bee beehive or something I don't know uh, so what I've got here is I've got four little of these farms this one does uh, honeycomb and the other three do uh, do uh, honey bottles. And the reason for that is, the reason for the imbalance is that each time the, the each time I harvest from the honeycomb, I get three honeycomb out of it. That's why this is like a multiple of three. And then each time it harvests from one of these, one of these three, it only fills up one bottle with honey. So I've got it set up and I'll put it like an item sorter on here or something or a shulker box fill or something maybe not necessarily in this one but instead of having them go into their own chests which I had set up originally I just ran the hopper line down here so they all flow into this chest so I've got a uh, honeycomb which I can craft into the honeycomb block which is kind of a neat looking block uh, and then the honey bottles can be crafted into a honey block. It can also be turned into sugar and can be used as food. Or it can be drunk, drank, whatever. Blah. And then, uh, so yeah, each time, and I can come back here and look at the status. All four of these have some honey in the hive. And then I'll hear a click and it'll, it'll harvest and then it'll go out. Now this little baby bee doesn't seem to be growing up too much. I had one baby bee escape. So I waited until night, I recaptured the hive, I went back home, put it back down, and I got another bee in it. And I now have, um, yeah, I have another bee hive that's filled with bees. I want to build a bunch. I want to gather a, a bunch. Get your pollen on your butt. Get your pollen on your butt. Hi. Oh, they're cute. Yes, they are. Oh, there he goes. What the heck happened there? Wow. Okay. If I can't edit that out, just pretend it never happened. So anyway, they're, the bees are coming along. They're doing their thing. The The witch farm is still working. If I walk over here, you can see items floating up the column. Not a ton, but it is still working. It's not... Um, they made some changes to the spawning and the way uh, shifting floors work, which kind of screwed up the efficiency of these farms. Um... So I will probably at some point go in and, and, and figure out how to fix that, but not right now. Because uh, it is working. I have I have resources here and I don't have, I'm not running through, I'm not running through a ton of, uh, of them. Whoa, they all collected. So I got 12 honeycomb. I got like five honey, or, yeah. So that's cool. So, and the cool thing is I can take this I can go into here, I can craft one honey block, and I get the bottles back 
which means I can come over to one of these two um, and deposit the bottles in there and then they, they get recycled. It's pretty cool. So there we go. And these I could pick up seven, one more. And I can craft honey block. Now the honey block, you can't decraft it, right? So with the, the honeycomb, the honey block, if I put that up in the crafting table and put bottles with it, I'll get bottles filled back, but I cannot do the same with the honeycomb block. So it's kind of a, it's a permanent decision, but the honeycomb otherwise is only really useful for making new beehives. So there we go. So this is all up and running and um, I'm already imagining what we're going to do with it uh, to make it bigger. Because it this is this is like I think minimum viable automated honey farm. Just because and actually I might want to set up a fourth honey bottle to try and keep the honey blocks apace with the honeycomb block. It, it's not really a one more thing. I'd have to do the math. There's like a ratio there. I probably would have to build a a bunch of of these individual block components whatever um so that's probably uh probably not worth it because uh, i don't know i don't have too much need for the honey blocks just yet or the honeycomb blocks just yet the honeycomb blocks are largely uh decorative uh, i did put half slabs on top of these hoppers so that nothing spawns on it because things seem to be able to spawn on hoppers um even though the, the top of the block isn't completely solid. But anyway, see, they just go along doing their doing their thing. Bees come, they get pollen from the flower. They fly back into the hive. When they come back out, it gets one step closer to more stuff. So there we go. All right, sun's about to go down. I'm going to go sleep, and then I'm going to head back home and see if we can figure out what we're going to do next. Something else just harvested. Something else just harvested. One of our honey bottle and another honeycomb. Nice. Very good. Anyway, that was, uh, I just want to show this since I built it out. But let me go back home, get some sleep, and we'll be right back. Ooh. There's a beastie somewhere around here. Uh, before I sleep, I just wanted to check and see if there are any bees that couldn't get into a into a nest. Or beehive does not appear to be the case. So I seem to have hit some sort of map. Um, there's lots of beasties out there. Let's go to sleep. Seem to have hit some sort of um, critical mass on the beehives, where I can uh, I can fill up new beehives fairly quickly now. The, the bees seem to be able and ready to breed. Come on. Go in the hole. In the hole. Where's my problem? There we go. Jeez. Um, the, the bees seem like I can, you know, they go through the normal breeding cycle of most animals, I think. So it's about 20 minutes or a couple, you know, a full day or a couple, I think... They have to be out of the hive for their clock to be going, which is why the babies go so slowly. So if I take a beehive here and get this ready to plop down, get some more flowers, and uh, get a pair of shears. Shears right here. And I come over here, the bees are get all excited. And can I get them to breed? Yeah, I can get them to breed. Woohoo! I don't really need the shears. Oh, well, I don't know what I I don't know what I need to be collecting. Let's go let's go collect the honeycomb out of these. Probably should be looking to build more hives, but I've got plenty of honeycomb to build more hives. There we go. Put that away. 
So now I have a new baby bee and I need to wait until nighttime. And so I've got three bees in all of these hives except maybe this one. And I've got eight hives total. So <clears throat> what that's like 20, 24. Um, so I probably have 23 bees in these hives. See, this is what the little babies do. I need to get them moving so that they can spot the flower in my hand and and uh, decide they want it. They want it. Otherwise, they end up. Uh, seen them glitch into the walls around them and so I may need to go on the outside here and get, place a block place blocks along the top so that there isn't a corner there for them to slip out of but but with 20 three B's come here buddy you're looking this way now come on come on come on Yeah, so now I've got two new, two more babies, and I think that beehive was only lacking one bee. And so I just need to find, is there another bee here that I can breed with, like him? So that should be like a full, that's three baby bees, that's like a full hive's worth. All in one go. So now I just need to wait for nighttime, wait for them to go in, check to confirm that one of them doesn't have a hive that they can go into and then uh, that tells me all the hives are full that I can uh, dig up this hive and place down an empty one for the the baby bees or whoever is left behind to go into and then continue the process the following day buddy Anyway. Hello, Mr. B. And I have one bee in that hive. How that be? Oh, you know what? That could be the bee that escaped out through the through the corner. Maybe I put a hive up here in case there are any other bees that escaped. They would have a place to live. See, only seems fair. Okay, so how do I get down to where I'm trying to go? Um. Oh, there's a bee down there. Job for ender pearls. Hello, Mr. B. You you don't have any flowers or anything, but you could use a hive, right? Come on, dude. <sighs> So this is probably the bee that escaped. I don't know how that other bee got up to that level of the, to that level of my base. Uh. Okay, well, there's a hive up there for him if he wants it. Or she. Alright, so next question. 
How do I get down? Those are the windows there. Wow, this whole area is so... Just look at this. Enderman destruction. So, these are the windows. The bees are inside there. And I want to add an extra layer of glass so that there are no... Um, so there are no corners. That makes sense? I don't know. So, let's get this. I have light blue glass. Should be the same stuff. Plop. There we go. Plop, plop. And if I just do this all the way around, the bees that like hanging out by the actual corners should not have corners to hang out in anymore. And what I noticed when I was doing the, the honey farms, the bees that were kind of insisting on hanging out in the corners would then fly away to other places because they're like, their pathfinding is telling them that they have the ability of getting out that way or something like that. Okay, hopefully that takes care of all of it. Don't see any more busy bees. Um... Does that really need to be stone? I'm going to say no. Let me put glass in there instead. Okay. Let me switch back to rockets. And... And go land. Uh, it's possible the bee that was flying around up here found this hive. Uh, it's possible. I gave you a hive right there, dude. Dude, come on. It's right here. There you go. Okay, so I now have two partial hives. These, uh, these both have a bee in them, probably. So I can go resume the process. Let's go back downstairs and see what the situation looks like down there. I do not see any loose bees, which probably means they all fit. This this hive might have three bees in it by now. I don't know. Um, oops. So I'll go... Uh, Put all this glass back. I think I have taken care of the the problem with the bees trying to fly out through these corners. I may need to go do that over on that side of the room because I see occasionally see them flying up there and hovering up there as well. So let me go uh, take care of that and then I'll not take care of this. If that continues to be a problem, I will go do the same thing there. But let me go put back this glass and go to sleep and then we'll see what the bees do in the morning. Hello bees! They certainly are busy. Ah, stupid Enderman! Okay. Look at that. Look how just they're like, ooh, come here. Okay, let me see if I can breed a few more. If I have any that haven't already gone and done the breeding thing. Maybe. There's one. There's one. Okay. Baby bee. Let's see if that's enough. But of course, we gotta wait till night. Gosh, that desert looks so ugly. I need to go and just sort of fix it and light it up. Since I can see it from, from here, 
I should do that and make it look a little nicer. Look a little more natural. See if we can get rid of those stupid Endermen. No! Dude. Wait. Oh. Is that a corner the way I think it is? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but you can go back over there. Look at the look at all the pretty flowers. Get some pollen on your butt. Get some pollen on your butt. There you go. Go back home. Oh, now he may not have a hive. The fact that he didn't go into any of those suggests that he doesn't have a hive. So let me do this. And then put down this. So this, almost certainly... Paul and Butt, where were you? You already go in? Fairly confident then that this has three bees in it. So then this be, this one becomes the only the only question mark. And with twenty three bees, and at least half of them adults, I should be able to breed up enough bees to fill a whole new hive all at once. Any given time. Oh, look at all the babies, though. I made a lot of babies. Okay. The sun is starting to go down. So these bees should be wrapping up their day and heading over. I think he went inside over there. And then it's a question of, does this bee have a hive he can go into? Yes! Shouldn't sound so excited about that. I was hoping the answer was no. Oh, why'd you, why'd you come out? Hi, baby bee. Oh, they'll go back inside when it does get dark. Which is like now. It's like nighttime. So I need to let these baby bees grow up. That could breed another batch. Could definitely fill up this hive fairly quickly and then plop this one down that has at least a bee in it. Um... And possibly could consolidate hives, but... Okay, there we go. Cool. So, so that's it. I'm a bee farmer. And that is, that is what I've been doing. Been spent a lot of time playing with the bees and understanding how they work. I've also been playing with the 1.16 snapshots, which have been very interesting. I'm kind of excited about some of those updates, although I'm a little concerned about the... Uh, Adding new potentially hostile mobs to the nether uh, that just spawn <laughs> around could make things interesting and potentially dangerous, but uh, the nether is, is, is a dangerous place. So I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Uh, so, that's, uh, so that's interesting. And um, fortunately, we've pretty much on the server been using the nether as transportation. We haven't done too much. I've got the nether fortress and, you know, I've gone out and collected uh, uh, lava and Chihuahua Power G is doing some some stuff in the nether. Uh, but there's, uh, there's not... We haven't, we haven't explored the nether too extensively, so hopefully we will be able to find the new nether biomes and the new nether features and mobs when that update comes out i don't know how quickly that will happen how quickly spigot will whoa shoot shoot Ooh. okay that that kind of sucks what do I do? Eat? Okay. Oh! I did not mean to hit that bee. 
I wonder how long they stay angry. <laughs> oh, this this will be a good uh Mr. Chicken. Um interesting. Let's see. I go back down there now, are they still angry? And I should probably get some honey bottles to take care of the the poison. Are they still angry? Oh shoot, that guy is. Huh. He loves me. He loves me. Oh, goodness. Guess I have to be careful with when right clicking to make sure I actually right click. Okay, back over this way, guys. All of you. Come on. Well, that was mildly terrifying. Um, got another bee now. Okay. So I think that's it. I think I'll call that for now. I will continue breeding these these uh, bees. Hopefully to get more, more hives ready. So I can start building a slightly larger farm. That is the goal. Um, I've got two full beehives, at least I'm pretty sure that guy's full. And I've got one that's partially full. And just waiting to see until I get so many here that they don't all have hives to go into. And then I can... Well, they still do. Wait, does this guy have a hive or did he just come out? He's pollinating... Okay. Anyway, that's that's what's going on. Um, hopefully uh, the, the bees don't stay angry at me. They seem to forget. Um, but that was that was mildly terrifying. He has a place to go, and this this one came from here. So still need more babies. But we will attend to that later. So that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.